Hey guys, welcome back to Maelstrom Games Dudes. I'm Craig and today we're going to talk about the soon to release Balance Day Slate 2024 for Warhammer 40k. We don't know exactly what it's going to entail, but in this video we're going to talk about all of our hopes, our dreams, our predictions, what could be good, what could be bad, and everything like that coming forward. So more of a speculative video, uh, but it's nice to see Balance Day Slate probably coming out in a week or two, so... Let's hope for some good stuff. If that all sounds good, do like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our content here at Master Games Views. We cover a lot of tier and specifics. We've got battle reports. Just finished filming one last night for you guys coming out soon. Awesome game. And other tier tactics and things like that. So, thank you members. Thank you everybody. And let's dive into today's video. Well, before we get too far into everything, I do want to address that a, there were some rumored point changes. I'm sure many of you saw this list of them. A number of people already did videos on I was just too busy to really cover it in depth. The list here uh, shows a number of nerfs, or sorry, a number of buffs to the Tyranids and some nerfs to the Tyranids. I really and just don't think it's right. I know... Uh, Auspex Tactics did a video kind of depicting it, showing that it doesn't quite look like a GW official. Clearly some Photoshop in there. But we'll just see what these points rumored showed off. Um, again, I don't think these are real at all. Are some of these changes possible? Maybe, but I don't think so. So Barb Guns back down to 50 points instead of 60. Uh, Death Leaper went up 15 points. I totally see that one being a thing. Exocrine going up to 170. That's my biggest red flag. It's good, but it's not that good. Gargoyles, 100 points for these guys. They are so, so good, but 100 points is probably a little bit much. I could see them going up to 80, 85, but 100, no way, no way. Harvest effects, again, going up to 150. Yeah, maybe that's, that's warranted. Maybe 140 would be a little nicer, but I could see it. Hive Guard going down 10 points each, or 10 points per three. So 100 points for three, maybe. Maybe you'll see some Hive Guard brought out. I, I don't know if they're worth it still, but something. Malice Scepter, 200 points they rumored it to go up. That's a 30 point increase. Again, I think Malice Scepter might see a bit of a buff. It's very powerful. Assimilator and Emissary do go down a significant chunk. I would like to see that. Uh, the Psychophage, I'd like to see its points drop to 105. Pyrovore, a 15 point increase on these little guys. Seems a bit much. Uh, Screamer Killer down to 120. There's no way. There's no way GW would drop 50 points off of a Screamer Killer. They're good. Uh, that would make them insane and auto include three of them. I think they'd be more likely to be around the 150 mark. Swarm Lord go to 250. Still a little high, but good change. Again, these aren't official. This is just what this is. Whoever made this is basically hoping and trolling with. Toxicrin at 150 and Trigon at 160 would be nice. Uh, Von Ryan Leaper's down 5, 10 points, and Tyrone Effect's only down 10 points. I I see it. I don't know. Again, these are I don't believe these. I think some of them are just a bit too wacky out there. But if this was the list we were given and said this is what you're stuck with, I'd roll with it. I'd be okay with it. It would make you think about how you make some of your lists. Definitely sway away from the Exocrines and into the Screamer Killers, play more melee build, but who knows? So now to some other balanced data, so it's balanced data slate stuff. Uh, any potential game ride changes we could see? Because in the January and then the July balanced data slate, this is where they like to do some of the bigger changes if there needs to be any. And really there aren't many big changes that I see them needing to do uh, game wide uh, the one that i would like to see as a tier nid player but also for you chaos knight players who like battle any army that likes battle shock a lot i think it could be good to make a change to battle shock where if you are battle shocked you do not automatically become unbattle shocked you need to pass a battle shock check in order to become unbattle shocked I, I just, I think that makes more sense. Just, I don't know, you guys get scared, the guys get scared, and they run away, and they're like, ah, never mind, we're fine. I think it would be much more impactful if 
they had to retest to become un shocked. Yes, that means some units might be shocked for multiple turns, but it right now, if you get shocked at the end of your turn, it doesn't, doesn't really matter because it's just going to uh, reset next turn. So I don't know, that's the main change I'd like to see. Odds of them doing this, I think are probably pretty low, but it would be a very nice change in my opinion and give Tyranids a significant boost with our Shadow and the Warp and Neuralictors and stuff. Now some changes. Uh, I think Tyranids right now, we are starting to struggle. People are either stop playing them or they're getting some, people are figuring out the bugs that they're not actually all that terrifying. Uh, they still score very well. That's, that's for sure, but they don't punch as hard as we want them to. So we're sitting at about the 47% win rate, plus or minus a percent or two, depending on what sources you look at. But Tyranids, when we had the index, we were a 50, 52, 53, and we're slowly been dropping ever since. So I think overall Tyranids are still good, but they have some internal balance issues that need to be addressed in these balanced data slates. So I expect a few minor point increases to some units. Uh, but with that, a much larger set of point decreases would be nice to see. Uh, so some potential point nerfs that I have in here. I think the Exocrine, the Harus Vex, and the Malice Scepter all could very much go up 10 points at, about. I think 10 points is a, they don't want to go too crazy because these are good monsters and they're keeping us in the fight. And if they nerf them too bad, we're going to be struggling. But I could see all three of these monsters going up 10 points. I wouldn't be upset. I would admit, if we get the point decreases that I'll show in the next slide, I'll be okay with these. Gargoyles, Neuroelectrus, and Pyrovores, again, five point increases on all of them. They are core to a lot of our army gameplay, but I think just a little bit of an increase could be warranted, and I could see Death Leaper going up 10 points. It's not gonna make him, you wanna throw him out of the list, but he won't be as auto included as I think he is in a lot of lists. Not every list, but a lot of lists. Maybe they'll do worse to us, but I think this would be a, a a reasonable point increase, but only if we get these point buffs. Screamer Killer, Harpy, Tyranno effects, those guys should all go down 20 points. No reason they should be as expensive as they are. They just, they're decent units, but they're just too expensive to be good. The Trigon, Moloch, Toxicrine, Psychophage, Emissary, and Assimilator all should get roughly 10 point decreases. I think both Tyrants, Winged and Flying Hive Tyrants, should get a 10-point decrease. The Turvagon should get a 10-point decrease, and the Parasite should get a 10-point decrease. Those HQs just, they're good, but they're too expensive for really what they do. Swarm Lord and HQ, I think 20 points shaved off of him for sure. Bring him back to 250, which is still expensive, but he, he can do a lot for you. And then for our smaller stuff, uh, Gene Stealers, Leapers, and Hormagons. I think should all see a five point decrease. Gene Stealers and Hormagons are just too weak for what they do. I think they should be a little bit cheaper to compensate for that. Realistically, these are about the changes I would make. Maybe you could argue definitely some things maybe need more. Some people might say the Assimilator needs a 30 point decrease. That would be cool. Um, some might say it doesn't need a decrease. I, actually, I don't know who would say that. I think it definitely needs a decrease, but roughly ballpark, that's what I'm thinking coming up for the point changes here. So that's about all I got. I just wanted to address the rumors, kind of what thoughts I am thinking for the Tyranids. The point changes, some increases, but a lot of decreases will help us. We still have that flaw. I made a video a while back uh, that Tyranids just have a understrength flaw going into them. So we're gonna have to be the horde that we are and just have cheaper things so we can bring more models to compensate for the fact that we struggle to punch tanks and infantry of, of all shapes and sizes. So that's what I got. If you have anything that you think should be changed, put it in the description or in the comments down below. Let's have a little conversation, keep things clean down there. But that's what I got. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time here at Maelstrom Gaming Studios.